So 10 o'clock comes, 10.15, 10.30, 10.45, 11 o'clock. I text her, I said, Lauren, what's going on? She said, oh, I'll be home soon. I think it was like midnight that she comes home. And I said, Lauren, what happened? Did you get stuck there that late? She said, um, you know Ryan that works in the pro shop? And I said, yeah. She said, well, we were just talking. We were walking around the golf course and just talking. And I said, wait a minute. You were walking around in the dark with Ryan from the pro shop just talking for two hours. And she said, yeah, he's really nice. And honestly, I have to say, I think at that moment, Lauren knew that I wasn't going to like him. <laughs> well, that's not, it wasn't the case then. It's certainly not the case now. He's a fine young man, and I'm very happy that he's my son-in-law. I guess like many fathers that, that have a daughter, you, you think about this day for, you know, for years, many, many times. But honey, I, I'm so proud of what you've accomplished in your life. And, you know, we knew when she was young that she was going to be successful because she had this grit, this determination, this, I'm going to do it my way and I'm going to do it well. Lauren, I, I can say a lot of the same things your kids have said. You believed in me as dad. You always told me to do the right thing, especially when it comes to my dietary habits. Uh, and you absolutely had made me happy. I love you. And I wish you every happiness and a long and joyful life together. Thank you. <laughs> Let's stop. Do you like it? It's beautiful. Oh, that's my favorite picture. <laughs> Lauren has the kindest heart and soul in the world, and I am so happy that she has found a life partner that matches that. Lauren and Ryan, I wish you nothing but the best in your many, many years to come. Cheers to you officially giving up the Schmidberger name, and cheers to me being the only Schmidberger sister, except for Lucille, who's already giving me a run for my money. Here's to you and Ryan. Congrats, I love you both. Lauren called me the first week that she met Ryan. I don't really remember what she said, but I remember the giddy, fuzzy, high-pitched way that she spoke about him. And it was enough for me to know that this was the real deal and that Lauren was falling in love. Ryan, I am so glad that Lauren has found you. You make her laugh and remind her to never sweat the small stuff, even if it takes 100 reminders. You make her stay up past 8 p.m. <laughs> and feed her when she's hangry. <laughs> and most importantly, you have brought out this fun, adventurous side of Lauren that we all love to see. And now I admire you both and the fun-loving life you two have built together. When I think back on when we first met, I realize the importance words have had on our relationship. We bonded immediately over believing in words, the idea that everything happens for a reason. As we got to know each other, I felt comforted and inspired by the insights and ideas that you expressed to me. When it hit me that these words and conversations we shared were igniting something special, I knew I had to write down my own words to remember what I knew were going to be significant moments in my life. On June 12, 2015, I wrote, I met Ryan about two months ago now. <laughs> I remember being struck by his eyes, his optimism, and his endless pacing. 
<laughs> Ryan was something special and I knew it in that moment. I didn't know how special, but I had to trust that gut feeling that he was brought into my life for a reason. Today, those words have only grown to be more powerful, more true, and more life-changing than I ever could have imagined. Now, in this moment, we get to start our next chapter with more words. Words that will be the most important we share with each other. Ryan, thank you for motivating me to live a life of depth. One that pushes me to truly live in each moment. Each day, you help me grow, adapt, persevere, and love. And thank you for pushing me to be strong, aware, and authentic. I promise to continue seeking laughter, purpose, and affection each day, just as you do. You changed my life the second you walked into it, and will continue to change it each day that we have together. I love you. Lauren Nicole, we've made it. <laughs> it's been five years and four months. It feels surreal to be standing next to you today and I can't put into words how beautiful you are. I can't even put into words what you mean to me. When we first started dating, my first attempt at this was calling you my North Star. With every additional day that I've had the chance to spend with you, I've realized more and more how true that is. As my North Star in the beginning, you instantly brought an authentic joy to the little moments in life. Uh, such as our obnoxiously large amount of biscuits and gravy dates, uh, casual walks around the neighborhood talking, or just laughing when I turn to ask why all the lights are drawn to you in restaurants. Over the years, I started to realize you are like enlightenment to what matters in my life, because the little moments have become the most important. This is why I proposed to you at the Jefferson Memorial, because it's specifically designed to represent enlightenment and thought. Even though at the time of proposing, I got so nervous I couldn't even speak. <laughs> Over the years, we've grown so much together, and it's made me understand the complex thing we call love. Or Nicole, you've shown me the true courage to work through adversity and have pushed to be the best version of myself. I promise to support you through everything life has in store, the moments that are hard and test us, as well as the moments when everything in life makes sense. I am honored and excited to be your person, by your side and your partner for the rest of my life. I am so happy to continue sharing each adventure to come with you I love you, forever and always. And for all that knows Lauren, Lauren has, she likes to know what she's walking into. She likes to know, she likes to have a plan. Ryan is, on the other hand, different there. He, he always loves to say, we'll play it by ear. We'll play it by ear. Drove me nuts as a brother. And Lauren's a trooper. And we're be bopping around. We're going from rooftop bar to rooftop bar. And it's raining the whole time. Here Lauren is, just supporting the brothers getting together. I'm in town and just is amazing. I just want to say uh, cheers to the journey that you'll have. It's going to be amazing, and I'm so glad to be here to watch it. Cheers. Sorry, I lied about not going political because I want everyone here to vote for your love, your spirit, and your story. Support the 2020 Gurgash ticket.